I'm Sir Dad and welcome to AIPD, Artificial Intelligence Police Department. I failed to say that properly three times now. Ahem. So this is a twin sticky shooty sort of game, kind of in the vein of uh, Geometry Wars. I don't just mean because it's a twin stick shooter. Um, a review copy of this game is provided by the developer. This game has ugh, 360 controllers. Ahem. This game has a slightly weird menu control scheme, so we... Um, Move the cursor with the gate with the joystick instead of using like a you know an instant snap to each option thing. And you also use the right stick to scroll on that thing. It's not really a big deal, but it's a teeny bit weird. Anyway, there's a few different game modes. Um, you can cr customize your own game mode and do local co-op and stuff. I'll just be playing solo. Let's take a peek at the other game modes. I want to play some standard. Um, tough transporters, hostile space. There's just sort of um, examples for making your own game mode. Let's take a peek at the game mode. So the way this game works is that one it has it's a wave based twin stick shooter and at the end of each wave you can choose one of two things to turn on and you get a multiplier bonus. And why I say it's like Geometry Wars is because the multiplier constantly goes up sort of like when you collect um, uh, what did it call those thingies? The Geons? Was that it? You know, the little triangle things you pick up and your multiplier goes up. So your multiplier is constantly going up, which is how your your main your main way to increase your score. So the design thing just lets you pick your own thing. We're just going to play standard and on medium. Um, I haven't actually played too much on my other tracks. Interesting. Though that seems not very twin stick shooty. You know what? I'll just go with the standard. Um, done point defense frequently destroys I see no reason not to do that so you unlock stuff based on your score the score or the uh, play sessions are fairly long in this game so I'll probably unless I completely screw up I will probably hello Parker thank you for obstructing the screen Parker this is not really a game you can interrupt and have me still play it Parker why don't you sit over here Sit, sit, sit. Okay. Ahem. Oh, and a nice effect is that the walls, like, stuff sort of, like, reaches out for you. It does not hurt you at the start, I think. I still don't want to touch it. But, um, there is a, um, Parker, seriously, get, get, get down. Um, yes, I know. Parker, seriously, at least lay down. Just, just, just. Parker, sit over there, okay? It's only when I'm talking for recording stuff that it comes over. Oops, we ran out of ammo. You, you sort of have a cooldown, and I'm not sure if the thing you eject actually can hurt enemies or not. It doesn't... I haven't noticed any significant effect. So here's the thing where you get to pick which... Um, explosives... Let's go with drones are faster. Parker. So the game sort of... Um, it's like a variation on adaptive difficulty where you sort of have to pick which one you consider more worth the score multiplier. I think that thing we have is a instant, like, a better cooldown. That's what the little snowball thing is. There's interface messages, but I can't read most of them because... Fairly frantic. They, they should be at the top. Like, well, it depends on where I'm shooting, really. I, I, can, I don't read most of the things. I just activate most of my power-ups. Like, I have no idea what that triangle thing is. Does it make me faster? It doesn't show up with a message. Um, deadly spheres. I'm not sure I like the sound of deadly spheres. So let's just go with more projectiles. So our multipliers in the top left there, you can see we've got about 360 thingers. And that just keeps going up, so... And the, as you can see, the the challenges are only sort of like half of my multiplier right now. Like, so it's pretty important to go ahead and collect all the little thingers that drop while you're shooting stuff. And 
And I, I don't like to compare things constantly to um, Geometry Wars since it's, you know, I'm not sure I want to say overrated. Ladies League multiplayer is constantly no. No thanks. Um, that sounds super bad. Um, anyway. Um. Oh, they explode now. With an incredibly excessive explosion. That's not really what I was expecting. They, the, the choices you get are randomized. The, um, thingers. I keep saying thingers tonight. The, um, possibilities for challenges are randomized, so this is entirely different from my first playthrough, which went pretty well. I keep forgetting to use my secondary weapon. It's uh, it's like a fan lock-on thing. There's a bunch of different interceptors leak. I don't want that leak. Get get out of here with that cat crap. Let's see, we've got 700 now. We we were at three 350 like a couple of things ago. So uh, your performance in the earlier areas really only matters in terms of collecting the multipliers. Because you really need those multipliers to get the score up and right. I keep forgetting the massive, ridiculous, like, entire screen explosion. I have no idea what that triangle does. I would like to know what the triangle does. So yeah, the, and it's sort of interesting that you get this sort of pick your own challenge thing, Omega Bomb. Uh, I don't like the sound of that either. I usually use my pickups pretty quickly, so... Oh dang, that's pretty noticeable. Ah, here we go! I like that the difficulty is sort of half the, you know, natural escalation of the gameplay, and half, you know, player-selected off oh, frick, um, challenges. So this laser guy can be pretty dangerous. Where is he? There he is. So obviously that thing doesn't... You can see the, his line of fire in here when he's about to teleport. What he does is teleports behind you and then fires a big laser down that little line that you see. Did, did I kill it or not? There's supposed to be a screen clear effect when you win, but it uh, doesn't seem to happen if there's other visual effects going on. Um... Grappler. I don't think the grapplers have been a huge problem. The grapplers will actually pull you around, and it's kind of annoying, but um, it doesn't kill you. It's just... Yeah. Those things. So, wow. They are way more... Wait. Maybe we just haven't seen them. I'm not sure we've seen them so far. But as you can see, they're pretty significant in terms of how they pull on you. I keep forgetting to use my... What is that? What is that? Is it just more multiplier? Wait, my multiplier... Oh, wait, no, it's not down. I read a 5 instead of an 8. Oh! Oh, it, we drop multipliers when we, um, when we overheat. Okay. I'm gonna stop overheating. I, I saw that thing explode, and I was like, what does that do? Um. So, the, the challenges are often fairly significant, but only apply to certain types of enemies. I think eventually you'll just end up with ab absolutely everything. I haven't gotten quite to that point, but I've gotten it to be pretty difficult. What, 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 what was that? Why did I get pulled in? I didn't see a grappler. <laughs> that ridiculous explosion, so good. Man. Whoa. So the game's pretty intense, mostly like, um, mostly the one game type, but just with, um, you know, sort of randomized challenges and the, there's different weapons. I'll show you, I mostly just want to show one good, I'm taking my explode, I barely even use these bombs. Um, we're about half health, so we will die eventually here, but, um, I just want to show one good ra uh, not race, one good Run. Whoa, now, what was that? Ow. So, ah. so, as you can see, you can lose multiple hit points in pretty quick succession, depending on what happens. Ugh, these things! And 
right, I'm dying. I'm dying, Squirtle. I could just kind of randomly died. I, I don't. I definitely don't think I hit him. Whoa! I like that those things warn you. I really like these guys. Um, they can hurt a lot. Oh, I think I just lost a bunch of multiplier. Pick up slip. Mine's wrapped on overheat of a shorter fuse time. Oh, it's a mine. I, I think that our overheat can hurt, hurt us too. That's that's really interesting. It really punishes you for overheating, which is fairly uncommon. Like usually it's just the fact that you can't shoot is your punishment, which is, you know, kind of bad, but losing multiplier and taking damage even worse. I'm dead. Pretty obviously was going to die there. So let's go back to the menu. You don't get given the score screen if you click play again, by the way. I, I missed it the first time because I pressed Y on accident. Oh, number eight. Not bad, apparently. Not great, but not bad. I have no idea what, what options my leaderboard. It's it's a newer game too, so I mean, not super impressive. I was number like two on one of the per level leaderboards in um, why isn't done working? Why isn't done working? I, I, I know, I don't want to see this anymore. Uh, is it because Parker's on the keyboard? That's weird. I Okay. Did my controller disconnect? Yeah, my controller stopped working. Oh well. Convenient timing for it to stop working. Let's just take a quick peek at the different weapons we got. Oh, there's also difficulty options if you didn't notice that before. Launches high speed, high damage projectiles. That sounds pretty good. Let's try this automatic tracking thing. How do I... This interface is kind of... It's like a weird mix of keyboard and controller. Increased cooling, but decreased emergency shield. Yeah, let's just leave on point defense. We, we just want to see the new weapon, basically. Um, hello? Oh. I can't... Let's see if my controller is alive net yet. Alright, hold on. I'll have to quit the game and get back in. I don't know what it is about controllers on PC, but um, if they disconnect... The majority of games just seem to freak out and not recognize them ever again, and you're just doomed. And sometimes games are set up so, you know, they don't expect you to switch input methods. So if that happens, you're doomed. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa, this is so cool! I should have done this before! I... this is not what I was expecting. Wow, okay, I, I need to see the other weapons now. This is way cooler than the Gatling gun. I am... I am impressed. Back to menu. Uh, done. Medium. So that's accelerator. I don't. I don't understand what the deal is with this. So this is. Right, so just you know, sniper rifle, high penetration sort of thing. All right. Don't like that one as much. It's probably better for the stronger things. Um, the penetration aspect is nice. Oops, I clicked play again. Um, no. Surrender. Ugh. That is kind of weird that you, you move this cursor and it's just... And Y is done instead of like A and B, which is what I expect. Uh, doesn't matter what you're in game, but uh, menu's just a little weird. Are there no positive or no downsides to that second one? Ah. That screen shake is... Oh dang, that overheats pretty quick. So yeah, the phaser is definitely my favorite so far. I should have played with that. I didn't, I didn't expect it to be that big of a difference. Oh well, shame on me. How's it fast as this? It's all right, but the lack of range doesn't seem entirely worth it. Anyway, that is AI Police Department. It is on Steam. Um, not sure if it's on anything but Steam. If it, if it is, it'll be in the description, as always. But yeah, that's pretty cool. I want to. I wish I could play co-op to sample it, but uh, doing co-op Let's Play stuff, I don't really have too many people I can do that with, so I, it's too much of a bother. 
What's your thoughts, Parker? Hmm? He's just watching the pretty particle.